question is, how do you stamp your seed into steel? <clears throat> so this guy is saying that he tried to do it himself, but he had a lot of issues. The letters weren't legible and it was very loud and expensive. So I don't recommend buying a, a Bitcoin, seed stamp, Bitcoin seed stamping kit because they are expensive and I think there's not a lot of reusability and then you use them once and then that's it. So a much cheaper option is to do it yourself and instead of stamping your seed into a steel plate from one of these manufacturers, stamp them into washers. I think this costs like $2 and there's a hundred washers in here. These are steel washers, stainless steel. And here's an example. So here's a, here's a washer. And then you can kind of see it there. I'm stamping in some test letters into this one. If you can see, the letters are actually falling. They're not quite centered. They're falling off to the edge a little bit. <clears throat> So that's why it's important when you pick steel washers to do this, to make sure that they're wide enough here so that you have enough room to, to stamp it because it's hard when you're stamping the letters, you're, you're pounding a hammer in, <clears throat> the, the washer is moving out of place. So you need to make sure that you have something wide enough so that when you stamp the letters, it's easy to place in the center and the reason for that, why we want that is to make sure that the letters remain legible. Even this is fine, um, but I'm just using this as an example to, to highlight to highlight what could go wrong. <clears throat> but here you can see I stamped the letters H and W. It's not going to go in focus if I put it closer. But this is what you would stamp your seed phrase onto, your seed words. So you would put the first four letters of each seed word because the first four letters are unique. And then you'd stamp the number of that seed word in the seed phrase list in your in your seed phrase. <clears throat> so then what? So you do that 12 times, okay? You get a bag like this for a couple bucks. It's like two bucks. And stamp it in. And then once you have your 12 words on 12 washers, what you do is you get a bolt, which I have here, I'm gonna show you. You get a bolt like this, okay? Here's 12 washers, and then just put it in like that, okay? Then take another uh, locking nut here, screw it on, there we go. There's our C phrase. This is one physical backup, and you can do some additional things to this. You can, I've heard people say that you can um, put something like nail paint across it and that will ensure that if anyone tries to look at it, you'll know because the paint will be broken. But I don't know if that how valid that is because if somebody knew what they were doing, they could just repaint it over again. So <clears throat> that's just one idea. You can play with it, but this is the bare basics of creating a physical backup with seed washers. After you have this, um, you want to put this into a container to prevent it even more so from environmental damage. So you can get something like this. This is a pillbox container. Uh, a pair of these was $8 on Amazon. You screw it open. And the point of this is to just pre pre prevent it from um, air, moist air moisture or any water damage if there was ever like a flood. Um, I think this might be fireproof too, to some degree. And then just take your seed and it fits perfectly in there. When you buy these pillbox containers, that's what you, that's what you look for on an Amazon pillbox containers, I think is what they're called. And you want to make sure that it, they're advertised as <clears throat> like airtight waterproof. And this is pretty stable. And so here's your backup. You can take even further measures too. You can <clears throat> take this. And you can get a, there's like fireproof um, envelopes that you can get for like cash deposits for banks. Um, I think banks will give them to you or just, if you're a customer of the bank, they'll probably give some to you. Um, you can put this inside of that to even add more protection against like if there ever was a fire. 
So there's your seed phrase. And then I also want to show you the stamping kit. <clears throat> so a stamping kit is how we're actually, it, are the tools to pound the letters into the washers. So a stamping kit comes with these four things right here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what each of these are. So this is a hammer, some very dense, strong metal hammer, right? This is what we're doing the pounding with. This is called a jig. This holds the letter in place. And I'll show you that in a second. <clears throat> here are the stamping letters. So this is the letter E and here is the stamping, um, I guess you'd call it plate, stamping plate here. And this holds, oh, hey, and this holds everything in place. We're, we're pounding onto this. So you take out a letter, stick it into the jig, this. And then on a flat surface, you have, have it set up sort of like this, right? And then you put your washer on here and then you're hammering this into it. And this whole set costs 60 bucks, which, which I still not, it's still kind of expensive, I think, but you could do this if you were so inclined. Um, you can buy it once, create your, all of your backups, and then return it to wherever you bought it from. So you're really only using the cost of the washers at that point. I'm not suggesting that, but if you're very frugal, could do that. Um, but if you buy this 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 stamping kit, you can reuse it and you can use it. Let your friends use it as well, um, or and your family members. So yeah, the kit is highly reusable. Anyone who wants to use it, they would just need their own washers. So that's pretty much it. That's how you create a physical backup um, of your C phrase. Let me know if you have any questions.